All right. So today we're going to look at the lungs, how they work, and yeah. So basically, again, we're going to relate largely structure to function. You know, how it works and why it works that way. All right. So this is what you'll be able to do. But is the first thing you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to tabulate all of the different structures that make up the lungs, okay? Um, and you're going to be able to label a diagram, that's pretty important. The next thing you're going to be able to do is you're going to explain how the lung and the heart work together. You know, they, they both make up the cardiopulmonary system and you're going to, work at, you're going to describe how they work together. All right. So, this is it basically. So, if we bring up our drawing tool, um, basically what we can see is we can see that the blood go from the blood comes from the body into the right atrium and then up out of the right ventricle and into the lungs and you see it splits in two different directions here. Now when it goes into the lungs, this is a low oxygen um, blood, so it's got very little oxygen, and the lung puts ox passes oxygen into the blood, which then goes down back into the left atrium, the left ventricle, and gets pumped out through the rest of the body. Okay, so then it goes around the cycle, and it comes back in, and this low oxygen blood, what it is high in is CO2. Okay, so when the blood is coming in here, the oxygen is going into the um, into the system, while the CO2 is coming out, and that's the carbon dioxide you breathe out. All right, so here is our basic structure, and we're going to look at the trachea here, and how that goes down into the bronchi, um, or bronchi, sorry. Bronchus is one, bronchi is two, and then it goes off into the alveoli, and then the alveoli passes into the uh, capillary system. Okay, so that's what we're going to look at today. We're going to start with the trachea. Don't stress, not a human trachea. It is a sea lion trachea, but that's what they look like. Essentially, all mammals are kind of the same. Now, it is a long tube that can text. Um, that connects the pharynx, that's what we're seeing up here, to the lungs. Um, so mouth and nasal cavity all go through the pharynx into the lungs. So it has cartilage rings, and that's, you know what, I'm going to use this pen. That's this section here, these like rings that hold, you know, bind it up, give it that look. They, they give the fleshy tube some support. Now, the structure of the function, the air goes, you know, it's a long tube, and air flows from the pharynx down to the lungs, or the bronchi, to start off with bronchi, but for them, it's the lungs. All right, the cartilage is really important, and what that prevents is that prevents, so when you, when you inhale, that gives a bit of negative pressure, and that causes the trachea, that would cause the trachea to collapse. Okay, so those cartilage there, that provides support and stops it from collapsing in itself every time you breathe in. Relatively important. All right, so now we move on to the bronchi. Now, the structure is similar. In fact, it's identical. You can see, if you look down here, that it is just a continuation of the trachea, but it's just that this is where the trachea splits off. Uh, it is two tubes, one left, one right, and they essentially go from the trachea into the lungs into the alveoli, which we'll talk about in a second. So, function, again, air travels from trachea into the lungs, and the rings provide support during inhalation, because, again, it gives you what we call negative pressure, and that's where it's going to collapse in on itself. All right, now we get down to the alveoli. This is where it gets complicated. Now, Essentially, it's a division of the um, of the bronchi down into bronchioles, which are again smaller, so it splits. You can see that up here um, into alveoli. It's the terminal end. 
okay, so the very end of it doesn't go further than that. Um, you've got about 100 million per lung. It's actually a bit more than that, but we've got 100 million per lung. And the walls are thin and moist, and that's really important. So, what do they do? They act as a gas exchange zone. So this is where gas goes from here in the, in the alveoli um, into the capillaries and arteries, and back for that matter. So this one's here where it's red. That's where. Uh, which one would that be? That would be oxygen, oxygenated blood. This is the deoxygenated blood. It's the blue. That's the way that's drawn. So here CO2 is leaving, and here O2 is leaving the alveoli. Again. So it's, it's a gas exchange zone. Um, the thin and moist walls are important. They allow the gases to dissolve. Okay, and that's important. They dissolve first, and then move into the bloodstream, or they come out of solution in the blood and dissolve through that again moist wall. So that's the CO2 that so goes through from the bloodstream into the moist wall and then into your lungs. Uh, so again, gas dissolves across the thin walls, so that's why they're thin and moist, and into and from the capillary network, which is where we're at now. So if we just go back one, we can see how, see that pattern around, like the, the capillary wraps around it. Come back to that in a minute. Um, so the structure of the capillary network, they're fine blood vessels, they're about a, a cell thick, you know, it's just enough for blood cells to pass through, and they have intricate patterns which we just saw. Now, I'm going to surround the alveolus again. Alveolus is one, and this gives you a place with an I when it's plural. So, they transport high oxygenated blood from the lungs into the pulmonary vein, and then into the heart, and then that travels through the rest of the body. And low oxygenated, low oxygen blood, which has high CO2, goes from the pulmonary artery into the lungs for exhalation. Well, the blood doesn't, but the, the CO2 does. Now, again, the intricate patterns, that has a job, and that is to maximize the surface area. All right, and finally, we see the O2 pathway. Okay, so it goes from the alveolus through the, the moist alveolar wall um, into the alveolar capillary. That's what the capillary is called. It goes around it and into the pulmonary vein and there, from there into the rest of the body. Now, remember, as we said, you need to be able to tabulate that. So part, structure, so what it's built like, function. Okay, and you need to be able to explain the interaction of heart and lungs, how they work together. Again, a quick reminder, artery is A4 away. Okay, so artery takes blood away from the heart, veins take it in. And it's pulmonary, so pulmonary arteries, pulmonary veins, because it goes into and out of the lungs. All right, uh, stay rad, and I'll see you.